So, the sixth and final stage. The new stage of Super Mario Advance 3, Endless World of Yoshis. This stage is pain. We start with this auto-scrolling section over Death Pit. You gotta make sure you pound that pillar, because there's a, a red coin under there. Yep, you got uh, a spike there. Got, uh... Bombs? Bombs. Balloons that drop bombs. Baron Von Zeppelin. Right. <laughs> you got all of these, uh... Wigglers. Flying Wigglers? I think they're called Flutters. Yes. The Flying Wigglers. And, you know, if you hop on any of them, they get angry, and then you, you gotta dodge them. Uh, it slows down a little bit over here to give you, I guess, a little chance to catch your breath, and... Now we've got, uh, spear guys. They have shields, so you can only hit them from behind. And of course, they're on small platforms, so they turn around frequently. So, this first section, it killed me a number of times. Not too many times, but a number of times. I made it look easy. It wasn't easy. Then you get, you get your midpoint there, and then there's, uh, you fall in here. This is where the midpoint brings you back to, so you never have to go back outside there. Uh, All of these random spikes in the air that you have to fall through. Then you jump over all of this lava, where there's cannons, and, uh, those are homing bullets. They curve after you, and also, we've got those hot lips guys in the lava that spit lava spews at you, and try to push you into the lava. And you get over here, and you get in the door, mm -hmm. and there's, there's some coins over here. It's free coins. And there's two other doors, and you go in the upper door, mm -hmm. and that takes you to this area. It's got dead, it's got spikes. And also the, the blindfolded booze, you know, the ones that, they're blindfolded, so they're not shy, so they can still charge at you when uh, you're looking at them. They just track you by sound, theoretically. I've never been too clear on how exactly that works. Yeah. But anyway, you get a couple of things there, and then it brings you back up here, and you gotta dodge through all of the spikes again to get back down. By the speed that you're going through this area, I take it you've done it a few times. And then you go over to uh, the left here again. So when you say a few times, I died in this section many dozens of times. That Potobo seems to be a problem. Yeah, it is. So, you get back in here, and instead you go into the other door over to the right. Mm -hmm. And that takes you over to the next room that is identical looking. And the upper door here sends you to a different zone. And here, you have to get... You know, you'd you use egg to pop the seed to go up. Uh, but also, make sure that uh, over here, you pay attention and use these jumping shy guys to hop your way up there. It took me a little bit to figure that out. I needed to do another loop around. I was angry about that. Especially because, like, I, I did this so many times. Just, like, falling in lava so many freaking times. You gotta use the bubbles to pop up here in a jank-ass way. And here I was, like, realizing, oh shit, I missed that flower down there. There's no way to actually get back down there, is there? Fuck. But, uh, you get up here and there's some more stuff. There's, there's more stuff. So this is supposed to be like a game and review stage, isn't it? Sort of, yeah! Uh, you know, here, you gotta get this, uh, this rock, chomp rock, and you gotta bring it down to the baseball guy. Don't drop it. No. Don't. This don't is fortunately the type of chomp rock that does actually respawn when you go off screen. But, uh, yeah, you, you get it down there, and you get it in front of the guy with the baseball bat, because they hit those. Mm -hmm. You should be aware of. 
that's a thing that you never had to do in the normal game, but you should have found out if you were playing it. And if you didn't, fuck you. Anyway, and he hits it, and you follow it, and it reveals that cloud. Which is another seed. Which, that takes you up, and then you can get the stuff up there. A couple of coins and a key. And there's a midpoint up there for you. Remember, I have not gotten a midpoint since I first entered the, the lava area. Right. From the, the side scroll, the auto scroll. So then I take this door. This takes me back to the central lava area. I don't have to fall through the spikes again this time. But then I have to get over the lava here again. Touch the butter bell. Yeah. I did that sometimes. Okay, so not the first area. So the first door I finished. The second door I will have to go back in to get that flower. It, uh... It took me a couple there of tries. Go. It took me a couple of tries to get onto the, the shy guy. Because you gotta wait for them to be, like, at the height of their jump. There you go. And then I go back through the place and I come back out. And then I gotta go over here again! I go through the first chamber and then I go through the second chamber and then I get to this third chamber that has a, a locked door. And then I keep going and there's this chamber. I'm getting exhausted just watching you go through all these chambers. And this brings me to the other side of the area that's all trees and stuff, and it's got this little tofu block over why here. Why is it so transparent? I don't know. Cause tofu block, why? Screw you, that's why. Anyway, you gotta push this tofu block over here, but don't push it into the hole. You have to flatten it to bring it across the hole. Because then it lets you actually push this switch. To push the block all the way across the hole. So that you can get it over here and make it tall and use it to jump up to get this flower. By the way, uh, if you go ever so slightly off screen, the tofu block respawns where, back where it was. That killed me once when I expected the tofu block to still be there over the spikes and it wasn't. That was a nice time. So anyway, you get that, and then you're on this stage in this part of the, the zone, and you monkeys. got monkeys and watermelons, and this, this high spring area. Now, what you're supposed to do here is get one of those watermelons and spit seeds at these guys, and they hit the seeds, and then the seeds go through the coins, and then you grab all the coins that way. I didn't bother. Fuck that. Mm -hmm. I just fluttered through it. I'm sure it looks really cool if you do the thing with the seeds, because, like, down here, it shows off. Oh, yeah, this is how you're supposed to do that. You use the watermelons, and you spit the seeds at the bat guys, and they hit the seeds with their baseball bat. Also, this area is going to hit you many times. It will hurt. And then I tried so many times to get up there, and I couldn't, because it looked so much like there was supposed to be something up there, but there's not. Great. So anyway, here I decided to finally actually use the midpoint down there. Because, you know, you've got to do all of these things, and you have limited uh, checkpoints to save your progress with. So uh, then I'm, I'm finally taking the path to the right over here. And uh, getting all this. And from here... We've got this chamber, which I Why? need to go through the upper door here. Ah, Not even marked in any us, way that's interesting. That brings us up to here, another area full of spikes. And this one has sparkies. I think these ones were called Pyrodangle? Because things in Yoshi's Island had really weird names. And it brings you back up here, where you have to dodge through all the spikes to fall down again. That fall killed me many times. So we're going back left? I went left because I found the path to the left here easier to deal with. They both link up. Why? In this, the, the, there are five chambers back here that kind of go in a, a circle. So I, I have now cleared all of the chambers. Like that, that second area that went to the trees, that's where I would have gone if I'd gone back to the right and continued through the chamber there. 
So then I finally am back here, and I'm here with the locked door. And of course there are bullets, homing bullets, in this area. But you finally use the key, and you get out of this godforsaken area, into the next area. We're not done yet. By well, no we're means. We're in like the second part of the stage. So then we have to make sure that you get the chomp rock through the gate. Don't go through the gate yourself. Because if you don't have the chomp rock here, fuck you! Mm. Gotta ride the chomp rock across the spikes and make sure you grab all the coins, because some of them are red. I think that one down there might be red. Can't look down. Like, sometimes the game lets you look down. Rarely. But, uh, yeah, you get over there. And, uh, you know, if you die here, then you go back to wherever you used the checkpoint in the lava area and have to do redo some amount of that, probably. Now we're in an area with the background is lava waterfalls. Right, because of lava the lava falls. cave stage. So, uh, now we got this down here. Um, there's a checkpoint over here. Probably use that. And then I, I fucked up this many, many times. So we have these guys stretch. It's Stretch. He's the tall, shy guy, and when you stomp on him, he spits bullets. That's another guy that was in, like, one, maybe two stages. Now, this part, I hate. It's awful. Because you have this Chomp Rock. The brown one will not respawn if you walk off screen. It will stay where it is. You need to leave it on that gate to keep the gate open for you so that you can come in here break that cloud when it dips down because the cloud opens that gate as it dips down and grab the key and come back here through that gate that you left open with the chomp rock to get to the locked door where you have a, uh, a super oh, powerful Mario baby Mario run where you got around all of these little Basically, they wanted to do Mario Galaxy. Is there, you're running around these big planetoids, meteoroid things on a, uh, a star run. I... This, at least, has arrows pointing you where you're supposed to be going. And, blind, like, trails of coins. So, make sure you go across here and don't, like, fall down immediately. Because there's a thing there. And you gotta fall down here and get that. And go all under this there. And here, there's Poochie. In case your star runs out at this point, you can't actually get across still. So that section took me a bunch to, to get that through. That gold rock thing is very... That's an very incredibly rom hack. rom hack. Yeah, it is. So, you only need to do it the once to get the key back across. But, uh... Because that seems yeah. like abusing the physics of the engine. You need to be very, very precise about it, and then you need to jump over the rock without moving it while it's sitting in the gate there. Because if you tap it too much, if you tap it just slightly, it moves. And okay, you gotta use the baseball bat guy to get an egg into the baseball hand guy where he'll, such that it'll knock him down into the lower set of spikes, so he'll throw the egg at you and get you that flower. <laughs> and then you have to ride this platform up here where there's all these baseball men trying to knock you off of the platform. <laughs> and uh, there's this little side path here. Make sure that you fall off the platform at some point and notice that, because if you go up past it, you can't get back down here. Uh, I'll, I'll get to it in a, a moment. Once I stop getting knocked around by people all the time. I stopped and murdered every one of them. Because I had to. Because they are so fucking annoying. See? You have to stop and kill all of them. Or else you need to be, like, incredible dodging all of this shit while you're riding this fast-moving platform. You know, if their murder wasn't giving you life. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's, um, 
just below here, over to the right. This. Ah. Take this side path before you get to the top of the, the area with the platform there. And, of course, this area is also full of baseball men on these small mushroom platforms. And, of course, it's all over a death pit. Not that you know that it's a death pit. Because, of course, you don't know it's a death pit because the screen doesn't scroll. Yeah, this game is very bad about telling you things are death pits. So then you take this up, and this is where you would have gotten to from uh, taking the platform up all on the, the left there. Yeah. Except this is past the exit. Uh. So if you take the platform up all the way, you wind up out in an area like this. Uh, by the way, this is a recreation of the, the tutorial zone, except also it has Kamek in it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you would wind up in an area that looks kind of like this, except you hit the end, and then past the end you see more stuff. But you can't go back and get stuff, and there's that flower there that you missed if you didn't uh, take the that side path. And here I was a couple of stars short. Fortunately, I was loaded with star cards. It was the yeah. end of the, the game. And that's it. And I have done everything. And here is the finished thing. This was the worst stage. It was just painful. Like, the amount of things that you have to redo every time you die. Mm -hmm. Because there are- every section is so long, and you have so few checkpoints. Especially, but, like, that- that lava section. You gotta yeah. jump across all of the- the lava areas four freaking times, five times. You have returned <sighs> home. But then, we've got all of the- Perfect. The score, the perfect score. On the last stage, all of the stages have perfect scores. And that gets you this. Congratulations. What an amazing job. You are the 286th Yoshi to adventure on Yoshi's Island. That's how many times I died. It keeps track of how many times you died. And it tells you how many Yoshis died. 285 Yoshis died. The 286th managed to make it through. <laughs> and we have this nice, happy little scene of all the Yoshis jumping happily, celebrating the one that lived. <sighs> Thankfully, they can get high on their super happy tree. <laughs> e and D and and baby Bowser is there and yells. Angry. Why are you happy about death? <laughs> I have this jaunty tune. <laughs> I wish it was the end. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then, uh, after that, you have to reset the console, because at that screen it, it locks up like some games do. And you come back, and look at that, it says number 286! So it's got, on your file screen, permanently shows, here's how many times you fucked up! That way, Thanks. you can, you know play through again and try to clear it with no deaths to get a perfect save file. I'm not fucking doing that. You are the zero with Yoshi. It would say first. Okay. So that was Yoshi's Island Super Mario Advance 3 remake. It was bad. It had some new stages. The new stages had some interesting things here and there, but mostly this game was just painful. Again, the size of the the small screen size ruined so many of the stages that were designed for a full TV screen size. Uh -huh. Even the the bro the bonus new stages that were made for this game did not seem to account for the small screen size. Uh -huh. A lot of times they were all very ROM hacky and bullshit. But that's it. We're done. We're done. It's over. We're out of here. As usual, at the end of a game, thank you to our patron. Are still 
singular one patron at time of recording, Chug Iron. Thank you very much for supporting the series. We are sorry that this dross is what you're supporting us going through. <laughs> I promise the next game is going to be better. Mario Party 4 has been interesting in some weird ways. Okay. So uh, we'll see that starting tomorrow. Uh, everyone else, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, tell your friends. If you really enjoyed and if you can afford it, please go to our Patreon and support us there. You'll get early access to the videos. Next time, you won't have to wait through a month and a half of us laying through with no commentary when one of these things happens and I need to, to take time to get ahead. Because that's going to happen more. That's going to happen several more times throughout the series. Unfortunately. I hate when it happens, but if we get enough support, I can put more time into this and maybe that won't happen anymore. So, uh, yeah, just, just in general, everyone, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting where you can and how you can. Hell, thanks for helping us spread the series. Tune in next time for Mario Party 4. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a party. It's your birthday. What? Good night, everyone. Bye.